All right, y'all, here's the next five feminine qualities that make you wife material in a man's eyes. These all come from an article I have up titled 15 Feminine Qualities Men Look For in Their Potential Wife. And uh, I went through the first five last week. Now I'm out here in this crazy part of Kansas I found. We're gonna go through the next five while I explore this little maze of rock. Come check it out and take a walk with me. So number one, men want a wife who is consistent. Trust is paramount to men in a relationship. And one way a woman can build that trust is through consistency. The last thing we want from a woman we are looking to build a life with is to play games or send mixed signals of any kind. You see, when a man sees that a woman's consistent from the small things, showing up on time when you say you're gonna be there, arriving to dates on time, actually trying to put a little effort in to the conversation or to whatever it is, the event that you're actually doing, that signals to us that you take an actual care in the relationship we're building, that you take care in us and what we feel and the energy we're providing back. And it kind of makes us want to stand up and do more and be better. It makes us recognize that this is a relationship that you're actually getting invested in as well. And by seeing that, it reassures us and our investment into it and makes us want to dive even further into it and see where it goes further, grow it into something more. So I go on to so inconsistency, on the other hand, that shows a guy that you're not really concerned about him. You see, when you play the games of not texting back or not calling back or whatever it is, showing up late, that kind of thing, to try to keep him pursuing you, that kind of shows that you don't really care about him so much. You care about him pursuing you. You care about what he's giving to you, the attention and stuff. Essentially, it almost gets to feel like a kind of friend zone situation where you're up here on a pedestal receiving and he's trying to consistently catch up to you in the relationship while you're not actually giving him those kind of feelings that he needs to be able to double down on his wanting for you and to really start growing it and pushing it ahead into something deeper, into something more lifelong lasting. But when we see you being consistent, that hits on all that and it hits on a deeper thing as well. It hints at trust. And trust is paramount to any man in a lifelong relationship, especially one who wants to become a marriage. Because without mutual trust, if we can't trust, then not only are you going to not commit infidelity, that kind of things, but have a true trust of each other, an understanding of each other's hearts, that we can be open and we can be truly honest with each other, even with those hard things. That is what really starts pushing a relationship ahead into something deeper. That's the kind of woman that we look at, we see as a true partner, as somebody we can start really building up something with, a life together, that's going to be mutually beneficial and be something that pushes both of us ahead to somewhere greater off in life. So number two, men want a wife who's understanding and empathetic. Empathy is a uniquely feminine trait. It's like a superpower you guys have to us. It's a trait that comes from caring, emotional intelligence, and it's something that's very attractive to men. This is why we see, or this is what's at the heart, really, of all these different tropes like the sexy nurses and caretakers and maids and all that kind of thing. It's because that kind of caregiving spirit, that nurturing type of quality and actions, those are something that hit to us on a level that's not just cute, not just friendly, not just love related, but start showing us what kind of mother you're going to be, what kind of wife you're going to be long term. When we see you giving empathy into us, we can see that it's not going to be a one way street where the relationship, even when it comes to disagreements, is just about going this direction. We're going to be able to see that even on the things we truly don't see eye to eye on, even on those things we're not going to see eye to eye on, we at least know that as a woman, you're trying to understand where we're coming from as a man. And once we do that, then it doesn't matter so much that we disagree or that there's some small thing we can't see eye to eye hundred percent on because what's truly important is that we know that even though you may disagree with us and you know, even though we may disagree with you, that we can still try to understand where you're coming from and that you can understand where we're coming from and why we, it, it is that we feel the way we feel about whatever that issue may be or why it is that we disagree with you. And even though you may not agree with it, that showing of understanding, that is a powerful thing because that is what drives 
that empathy thing. That's that caretaking spirit, that nurturing spirit that we see in you. And when we see in that coming towards us, we can extrapolate it out to the rest of our lives about how you're going to be with our children, how you're going to be with our, the rest of our family, with those other people that come into our future. Ooh, there's a cool little lizard running right there away from me. Yeah, when we see that, it's a glimpse into your heart, into who you truly are as a person, as a spirit, as a soul. And looking into a woman's soul, that's something deep. As a man, it's something that brings us a profound sense of peace. It's something that calms us down and lifts us up at the same time. And it's something that if you can do as a woman, your man is going to feel your heart. He's going to feel your spirit from within you. And he's going to get very deeply attracted to you. So number eight, hopefully the wind doesn't drown us out here too bad. Men want a woman who puts in effort. One of the most powerful things for a man in a relationship is having a woman who he knows wants him and puts in the effort to make the relationship with him work. And I'm not talking about the giant things either. We don't need a one-sided transactional thing. In fact, relationships should never be transactional. What we want is to see you wanting to put in effort with us is to see you wanting to put in the a little bit of energy to come to us and to be a part of our lives. And when we see you doing that, hopefully the man's doing the same already, but when we see you truly putting energy into us, it's a sign of the, the value you put into our relationship and what you, the value is that you put into us. You see, when we see you giving effort, I got on a earth, <laughs> talking about working on the relationship, you're coming into it not just saying these are the things I want from him, but saying, hey, these are the goals I would like our relationship to hit. When you start coming to him, talking openly and honestly about the future of your relationship and what you want from him, that's the kind of effort I'm talking about because that, again, gives us a window into what you want in life, into what you're truly feeling about us and about the relationship, but also allows us to start really working on building a set of goals with you goals together that we can work to achieve as a couple and when you start building actual life goals or relationship goals or couple goals those things become like milestones they become stepping stones to a bigger and better life into a bigger and deeper relationship and each one that you hit whether it's the goal of being truly committed or the goal of moving in together or the goal of getting engaged whatever it may be the goal of having your first child each one of those becomes a block in the foundation of the life you're building together. And each one builds up that life with him and in his mind and in his heart, just a little bit more and a little bit stronger and a little bit deeper. So number four, men want a wife who stays attractive to him. Hear me out on this one. <laughs> men want a woman who is attractive to him. And it's not necessarily about keeping your body for you had at 23. A man wants a woman who is attractive to him at his core, who he looks at with longing over how she cares for herself, cares for others, her lifestyle and personality. You see, relationships are a lot of work. And a lot of that work is continuing to grow on ourselves as a person, continuing to work on ourselves as a person. And as a man, when we see our woman not only giving effort and energy, like I said earlier, to our relationship, and to us, but truly to herself. When we see her growing, it's kind of the same as when you see a man who truly has that ambition in life. He's not just working on his career, he's working on himself as a man. He's becoming bigger and better as a person. He's working on his spirituality. He's working on his personal goals and his actual growth mindset, his mentality and his emotional intelligence. It's kind of a turn on, isn't it? You can see he's building a future for himself. It might not be an economic future that you're looking at. It might not be something tangible, but you can still see that he's got goals, that he's building something. And it's the exact same when we see a woman working on herself like that. When we see you working on whether it's going to school, getting an education, a new career, or something as simple as working on your hobbies, or working on yourself, your personality traits, trying to do more in the relationship, little things. My wife 
which she, uh, she started with little things like leaving me notes and it slowly developed into things like little gifts, little treats and things that she makes for me. Anytime I see something like that, some feminine little gift or something she's made, or when I see her doing something like that for our kids, or doubling down on kind of some of those quote unquote traditional gender role kind of things, it makes me feel like she's truly continuously growing as a person. Our relationship's not stagnating. Our relationship's not just sitting there in one place anymore. Even if I'm taking a moment just to relax, and it's not about her working, but she, I see her doing something for herself, working on herself. And it might be something as simple as taking some leisure time for herself. It lets me know that she's still moving ahead in life. She's still moving forward. She's still getting better. And her best days with me are still to come because she's not gonna be in five years the same woman she is today. Just like how she's not today the same woman she was when we first met. She's a better version of that woman. She's a better version than that woman could ever be because she's learned from everything that woman before did and that we did together. And that is a sign of a woman that we can make a true life with. That's the sign of a woman that we can build a lifelong relationship and marriage with. It's getting warm out here. And number five, finally, men want a woman who's friendly with his family and social circle. This is something I have some unique experience with. You see, I have some family members who purposely tried to not get along with my wife when we first got together. And it was a huge strain, it was a huge stress. And on the other side, I have those family members who she really got along with and who took her in almost as a part of their family. And that was like relationship fuel. And it was interesting seeing in one situation how you can feel almost two totally opposing feelings and emotions and get two totally separate things from it. So I start out, men want a woman to become a part of their lives. We want to build a life together and that means trying to become a real part of your life and social circle and you trying to become a part of his. And a huge part of that is being friendly with his family and social circle. You see, when we take you around our family when we first start introducing you to our friends, that's essentially, that's essentially us putting a giant public stamp, a spotlight in a way on our relationship saying this is a woman who's not just a fling, she's not just some girlfriend for right now, she's a woman that I truly want to be with and I want to build something unique with. She's a woman that I've brought into my life and that I'm starting to build up a life with. And when we see you interacting with our friends and family, not necessarily becoming buddy-buddy with them, but just cordially, when we see you trying to give in that all these other feminine traits we talked about earlier, things like empathy and compassion and openness and honesty towards our family, towards our friends, we see you come into our family's house with a smile and a genuine interest in getting to know our life and be a part of the life and relationships that we've had so that our life together can use those as a foundation to get even bigger and better. We see that as a way of almost like locking down what we already know in our heart, that this is something we want to last and we want to build forever. That this is a relationship we don't want to be just a girlfriend, just a boyfriend, just kind of a living situation. But it's a relationship where she can become a part of my family, where I can become a part of her family, where we can build one family together and the moment your man starts thinking about you like that the moment he starts looking at you as a potential wife to his children as somebody who he can see giving grandchildren to his mother or great-grandchildren to his grandparents or as soon as he can see himself joining your family and being accepted in by them and becoming a part of that he sees you as being that anchor, that part, that center, that he wants to build that life and that family around. He sees you as no longer just a girl, no longer just a girlfriend, no longer just a live-in partner, but as somebody that he shares a deep spiritual, soul, energetic, mental, emotional connection with. Someone that he shares a life with. 
that he can build a life together that is happy and satisfying and full of love and that won't become dull and that won't stagnate because he knows that you have that spirit in you that goes with family and with him that says you want to take his life that he already has and you want to help raise that up and elevate it and elevate him just like he hopefully wants to elevate you ladies all your feminine qualities that you have all these different traits that you've been told are just for girls or that might make you weak those are your superpowers those are your gifts in a relationship to a man that is like candy to us that is the kind of thing that fills us up to our heart to our soul that's the kind of thing that makes us want to be with you forever that makes us want you more than just a physical level more than just your body but makes us want your heart makes us want your soul your mind and your life that's the kind of things that make us want to build a marriage with you and make us want to spend the rest of our life cherishing you double down on y'all's femininity get out there and explore a relationship make something beautiful like this place that i've been exploring <laughs>